Hello. Welcome to all essays. Reach your academic heights. My name is Julie and I will be your instructor as we read through Sociological Perspective Essay. The article source is embedded in the video description below. Feel free to read along. Please note that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay for as little as $10 a page at all essays. The link is in the description. Marxism, functionalism and feminism are sociological theories alongside several others. They are fundamental to the whole discipline of sociology. Functionalism is a structural theory that argue that society is made up of interrelated and interdependent institutions such as education, work, religion, law, the family etc. The main function of these institutions is to maintain social equilibrium. They see society similar to a human body with all the internal parts working together to bring out equilibrium. Functionalists see individual action as the product of social institutions such as the family and education socializing the young into cultural values and norms. This means people believe in much the same thing and consequently their actions and patterns are predictable. O.E. Durkheim believed the very core of society is its values which are passed on and reinforced by family, school religion etc. Individuals behave similarly in the same social context because they have been socialized into the same cultural rules and goals. However functionalists see institutions such as education and work organizations allocating people to roles in which they would make an effective contribution to the day-to-day -day running of society, they believe there is a class system and people gain their job, money etc. through their own merit. Therefore functionalists believe human action is shaped and controlled by social forces such as value consensus and the need to maintain social order, beyond the individual's control, the results on this conformity is social stability and the reproduction of society generation by generation. However it is argued that functionalists overemphasis consensus and order, in play down conflict. They tend to focus on functions or benefits of social institutions and consequently neglect the dysfunctions or harm that institutions can cause. Marxism is a macro approach based on a conflict between capital and wage labor. Society splits into an infrastructure, economic base, and superstructure, social institutions. Ideology, distorted beliefs, is transmitted through the superstructure to justify inequalities. Marx focused on the inequalities of capitalism. In capitalist society, the bourgeoisie own the means of production, own large amounts of capital and therefore have power, whereas the proletariat sell their labor power for a wage. This is where the conflict rests. The system dictates that the ruling class generates more profit, achieved by decreasing wages. Over time, the worsening of conditions, Exploitation and lowering of wages results in a situation where the working class become aware of their class position and unite in a state of revolutionary consciousness. Revolution is, therefore, inevitable. Gramsci argues that middle class maintain dominance by using the government to persuade people, and also by propagating ideologies, continuously feeding ideas so they grow strength through things like media, churches, schools and family in order to win people's consent. For the middle class to be ideologically dominant these ideologies need to be taught into the popular culture of working class. The extent to which such hegemony is achieved varies over time but it's unlikely to ever be complete. There are two reasons for this. Firstly middle class are often divided and secondly the proletariat as a dual consciousness. One part which reflects the ideas of the middle class and the other which reflects their everyday experiences. He believes the proletariat to make alliances with other groups for Marxists to win the hearts and minds of subordinate classes by connecting Marxist ideas to popular culture. He unregistered trademark s optimistic that the struggle for hegemony. People will eventually be persuaded of the need for a revolution. For Frankfurt School there's two main characteristics which distinguish humans from animals the ability to transform the environment and the ability to make a rational decision about our lives. Capitalist societies don unregistered trademark to allow humans to exercise their creativity and reason and thus warrant criticisms for being unfair and unreasonable. He agrees with Gramsci that attention needs to pay to ideologies which are integrating people into capitalist system. 
Two developments are highlighted as crucial here the growth on instrumental reasons which unregistered trademark is seen as a dominant way of thinking in a capitalist society and the development of mass culture. People unregistered trademark is acceptance of instrumental reasons is explained by Frankfurt School in terms of developments of mass culture. It reached a massive population through media, the Frankfurt School comes to a negative conclusion people are dominated not only at work but also in their leisure. The overriding picture is of society as a mass of isolated individuals who are manipulated by big business. There seems to be no way out. It has been argued that Marxists put too much emphasis on conflict. Capitalism has improved the standard of living working class. It may be that the working class are aware of inequality and exploitation but they feel that their standard of living compensates for this. So they may therefore actively choose to go to work despite this knowledge. They have also been criticized for economic reductionism that is reducing behavior to class relationships. They may neglect the fact that social behavior can also be influenced by religious, patriarchal, nationalism and ethnic structures. Interactionalists focus upon the way in which individuals, or all social actors, as interactionists like to call them, consciously act rather than simply react to social stimulation. The way in which different social actors interpret the behavior of others is significant as a means of understanding the way in which the world is socially constructed. This social construction of the world is focused upon the meanings people give to behavior and the way in which they interpret the meaning of behavior. Mead argued that whilst we are each conscious, thinking, individuals, the way in which we choose to behave is conditioned by the social context of that behavior. In this, he said that our behavior as individuals is conditioned by two aspects of our self-awareness, that is, the ability to all see ourselves, as others see us. A. The OEI aspect which largely consists of spontaneous actions and B. The OEME aspect which consists of an awareness how other people expect us to behave at any given moment. The OEI and the OEME are parallel parts of what Mead called OE the self and it is the ability of human beings to develop a awe self concept that makes us different to most animals. In animals, for example, the OEI is dominant, to the almost total exclusion of the OEME. In most animals, this means, in effect, that most animal behavior is instinct based rather than socially constructed. In humans, on the other hand, the reverse is true. The OEME is dominant to the almost total exclusion of the OEI? This means, in effect, that most human behavior is socially constructed rather than instinct-based. Thank you for taking your time to listen to me. I hope you enjoyed learning about sociological perspective essay as much as I did. Kindly remember that you can get a custom, plagiarism-free essay at all essays for as little as little as $10. The link is in the description. See you next time.